Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity. But we're going to focus on how to solve for payment as well as the total interest. Okay, so if you want to know what the payment is for the present value of an ordinary annuity or the payment of an ordinary annuity as well as total interest, you will be able to find out in this lesson. So we're going to do this using the financial calculator, specifically the Sharp EL738. Okay, so Let's read. What does the question say? Well, we are told here that Jack would like to apply for a mortgage loan of 600,000 rand from the bank at a rate of 11% per annum compounded monthly over a period of 20 years. And the question here is what will his monthly payments be on this loan and how much interest will he have paid by the end of 20 years? Okay, so we have done the same lesson using the formula. So if you'd like to check it out, you find the link in the description below, as well as many other lessons using the same financial calculator and using formulas as well, okay? So let me switch on my calculator. The first thing you want to always do when using your calculator is to clear your memory. So you press second function and then you press here where it's written mode because on top of it is written CA which stands for clear all. Okay. Now that we've cleared our memory, we can begin with our calculation. I always mention when we are doing this type of uh, questions and examples that compounding is very important. If it's compounded, monthly if it's compounded quarterly if it's compounded semi-annually you need to take that into account when doing your your calculations if it's come it's com if it's compounded annually it's a bit easier because by default the calculator is compounded annually all right in the the input of the calculator is compounded annually by default so it's very easy it's straightforward to you for you to just put the figures you're given and get the answer but if it's compounded more than once per year meaning anything other than compounded annually you need to uh, take that into account in your financial calculator here it's compounded monthly what does it mean it's compounded for 12 months in one year okay so we have 12 months in a year that means it's compounded 12 times in a year okay so there are two ways you can do this using your financial calculator the first way you can do this is where you tell the calculator how many compoundings you have in a year and then it will do the calculations for you okay and the second way is to do the calculation manually okay so i'm going to show you both ways the first way i'm going to show you is where you tell the calculator how many compoundings it is in the year okay because by default like i mentioned it's compounded annually okay so how do you tell that the calculator or how do you input the figures of the compounding well you press second function and then you press here where it's written i slash y because you can see on top of it is written p slash y which stands for payments per year so i press that one and then how many compounding or how many payments is it per year well for a mortgage loan you can see here it's 12 payments per year and it's compounded monthly so that's 12 so I press 12, okay? So I press second function, I slash Y, and then I put the number of compoundings per year, 12, and then I press this one where it's written enter. So ENT, I press that one, and you can see payments per year equals to 12. When you press the downward arrow up here, you'll see the compounding per year is 12, okay? So now the calculator has, has taken into account the compounding to be 12, okay? So now let's do the calculations. For how many years is this uh, mortgage loan? It's for 20 years, okay? So he would like to apply for a loan of 600,000 rand uh, for over a period of 20 years. So let's put the number of years, 20. And then if it was compounded annually, we just press N. But since it's compounded monthly and we have input that into the calculator, you press the number of years, 20, and then you press second function, and then you press N. And you can see what it's telling you. 20 times the payments per year equals to 240 compoundings, uh, compounding periods. So what it's telling you there is that uh, there are 240 compounding periods. And obviously you'll be making 240 payments for this, uh, for the lifetime of this mortgage loan. And then you press N again to confirm. Don't forget to do that. Students usually forget to do that and they end up getting the wrong answer. So you press the number of years, second function, N shows you the multiplication and then you showed you, you press n again to confirm until you see where it's written answer equals n and it shows you the number of compounding periods okay now that you've done that what is the interest rate the interest rate is 11 percent so we're just going to put 11 and press i slash y remember we've already input into the calculator that it's compounded monthly so the calculator knows that that's why we can just put the interest rate as it is okay and then the, ne the next thing that we do is the the, the the present value what is the present value well the present value here is six hundred thousand rand because that's how much mortgage loan he needs today right that's what he wants to apply for so you put six hundred 
thousand and then you press pv which stands for present value that's the mortgage loan he wants today okay and then what do we want we want the payment what will his monthly payments be on this loan so what do we need to do we need to compute so you press here it's written comp which stands for compute and then you press where it's written pmt which stands for payment okay and there it has given you the monthly payments he needs to make on this loan if he gets the loan six thousand one hundred ninety three and thirteen cents okay and that's how you do it using the, this financial calculator. We haven't answered the second question yet. Before we do that, I want to show you the, another way of doing it in the calculator. So let me clear my memory again. Always do that. Second function, mode or clear all. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do it manually where you don't have to tell the calculator how many compoundings it is per year. Okay. So how many years is this loan for? It's for 20 years. So I'm going to press 20. And then I'm going to multiply by the number of compoundings per year. We know it's 12 compoundings per year because it's compounded monthly. So you multiply. So you take the number of years times the number of compoundings per year. And then you press N. Okay, it gives us 240. Just like we did before when we, uh, when we, when we did it using, uh, by inputting the number of compoundings in the calculator. Okay, so that's the first thing that you do. The number of years times the number of compounding. And then you press N. And then the interest rate is 11%, but it's compounded monthly. So we need to take 11 divided by the number of compoundings per year, which is 12. Okay, remember before we didn't have to do it because we had told the calculator how many compoundings it is per year. Okay, and that is what it gives us. So with the number of years, you multiply it by the number of compoundings per year. With the interest rate, you divide the interest rate by the number of compoundings per year. And that's what we've just done. And then you press I slash Y for the interest rate. Okay. And then everything else remains the same. 600,000 rand. That's what he wants today. So that's your present value. And then you press where it's written comp to compute for PMT, which is the payment. And there you can see it gives us the same answer. 6,193 rand. 13 cents okay now that you've done that i'm going to press uh, to clear my screen not my memory it's my screen so it's on slash c i press that let's answer the second question how much interest will he have paid by the end of 20 years so we want to see what is the total interest he will pay on this mortgage loan by the end of 20 years by the way you can also use this to calculate what your mortgage loan interest rate is going to be and what your payment is using this exact same way i have showed you okay so what you're going to do is that you're going to press here where it's written it's very simple actually the calculator already has the inputs we have already put remember all those calculations where we put the n the interest rate and the pv and then we computed for payment it's already in the calculator so all we need to do is just to view it okay so you press here where it's written amrt which is which stands for amortization and i'm sure you've seen an amortization schedule before and you can see it's showing you amortization period one what is that that is the starting period I want to see the interest for, okay? So if you want to see the interest from the very beginning, from the first period until the end of 20 years, you just leave one as it is, P1 as it is. I want to see it from period one. So that's when you want to see the, from, well, that's the starting point. You want to see the interest rate. You press the downward arrow and you can see what period two is going to be. And period two, period two is the last day you want to see this interest rate for or last day you want to see the amounts for okay so p1 we left it at one because we want to see it from year one p2 we want to see it and all the way until year 20 but what compounding is year 20 remember we have to we compounded monthly so we have to take 20 years multiplied by the number of compoundings per year which is 12 okay once we've done that we press here where it's written enter okay and you can see there they we want to see until from period one or from compounding one until compounding 240 okay the reason we multiply it remember it's because it's compounded monthly if it was compounded uh per annum okay if it, if it, if it was if it had only one compounding per year which is compounded per annum we just put the number of years but since it's compounded uh, monthly that's what we needed to do okay and then we have done everything that we needed to do so we want to see the total interest you will pay so you press the downward arrow and it's calculating for you okay and it's showing you the person doesn't owe any uh, amount on his loan by the end of 20 years because of making those monthly payments it's just showing you 0 0.37 which is cents and you can press the downward arrow you can see the principal payment meaning he has paid his total loan of 600,000 you can see it's just a rounding off figure so it means he has paid 600,000 by the end of 20 years and you press the downward arrow again and it shows you the total interest that this person will have paid if he takes out this mortgage loan at 11% per annum compounded annually. So he will have paid interest of 886,351 rand 57 cents.
So you can see how much interest he has paid. He has paid more interest than he has uh, for the amount he actually owed. And why is that? That is the power of compounding. And you can see how much interest is involved when you take out a mortgage loan. If you want to understand that more and the power of compounding, we leave the link to that lesson in the description below. But otherwise, I hope you know how to do this using the financial calculator. Another way I can, I, I can explain it is when you press amortization, you can see how much interest he has paid only on the first year or on the first month and how much principal he has paid on the first month or how much in principal or interest he has paid in the first year or in two years. Remember how I showed you that you put from or the period you want to see it from until the end, which is P2. You can just input those figures then you'll be able to know for any period what the interest is and what the pay, uh, the principal is and you'll be able to figure out what the outstanding figure is on the mortgage loan. Okay? So I hope this lesson has made sense. I hope you have gained value from it and if you have please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.